Go over Bible book 4, chapter 13, verses 14 and 15. To reassure a traumatized public, priests used drugs to simulate death and rebirth. Verses 15, over time the trauma is less, but the damage of this compassionate lie has clouded the truth, impoverishing future generations who must struggle to rediscover the truth. SOF 1314. The priests who came from the land of copper could make their soul depart from the body at their command and return as they willed. When ignorant men saw seemingly dead bodies return to life, when the soul came back into them, they thought the same could happen to a dead body if kept long enough. Even this superstition stays with us. SOF 1315. Later, when they had left Labeth, Men believed that if they kept a dead body so that it remained whole, the soul would not finally enter the sphere of accounting. Such was the knowledge of their wickedness and their fear of their fate that they used every art to prevent the body falling apart and entering decay. They may have believed that, until the soul entered the sphere above earth, it remained flexible and capable of acting to counter some of the ill effects of a life of wickedness and ignorance. SOF 1316. Later still, the light of truth dimmed until it could scarce be seen, but always there were the few within the many, and the many hid them. The light of the few was a precious thing, safeguarded with diligence and care. The people knew the many, but the few remained unknown, their treasures safe, gods multiplied, but those who sought truth among them could always find it. If they were sincere and diligent seekers, it was then as it is now. Even in these times, lies are preferable to many. Problem is, what we see as valueless today, or embarrassing to face, might have actually been harder knowledge. Consider the arrival in the Americas, Africa, Asia, foreigners, who arrogantly tossed what they didn't understand, burning books among many other atrocities. Today we have so little knowledge that survives because a few in charge lack the wisdom and humility to accept there may be some value in what you don't understand in the future. All too often we make small changes and think it's basically the same thing. Add ten different people doing the same thing. Who's to say at that time you could understand if you found an original untouched document? By all those tiny changes, all because a few decided for expediency to abandon what they know to be true because it's easier and safer to embrace the lie. The catch is the lie is short-term illusion. Eventually, reality sets in. The question is, are you so invested in the illusion you will blindly ignore, maybe even destroy or hide anything that is contradictory? It is true the road to hell was paid with good intentions, and all too often it's cleaned with the tears of those unable to fit into a strict human worldview, demanded not by God who created us, but by those arrogant few afraid to face a possibility they might be wrong. God gave us free will. I think it unlikely having done so, he has a view of only one path, and if you stray, you're doomed. Man has need for laws. They should govern how you treat others here in the material world. That is different from using your wants to place others in a straitjacket to which they cannot survive and thrive or reach God's potential.